Hi, I'm Dr. Levine. I'm the Director of Studies at Rockefeller College. And I'm one of the people who are going to be helping you out during your time at Princeton. Um, Princeton functions on an advising community model, which means that there are lots of people who will answer questions and give you advice along the way. One of the first people you'll meet is your academic advisor, your faculty advisor. And that person will help you choose courses during orientation and help you navigate your academic life at Princeton. We thought we'd give you a chance to meet some of those people, get a sense of the breadth of their experience, and get a sense of the first kinds of advising conversations you might want to have with them. Meeting new freshmen every year. The beginning of the fall is awesome. I get to meet a whole new group of uh, really wonderful, smart uh, people, and uh, we get to hang out for a couple of years, and I get to see what they do after they graduate, and that's pretty fun. I love meeting incoming freshmen because they're always very excited. They are generally very open-minded about exploring uh, new intellectual situations and social situations. I, um, yeah, that kind of energy and enthusiasm is very contagious. Uh, it, um, it, it often also reminds me of why I decided to be a professor in the first place uh, because I, I liked I like to seize on that excitement. So during a first advising conversation, um, I like to get to know the students a little bit about what they are looking for academically, but also to get to know them outside of academics. What interests do they have? What activities are they looking forward to participating in? So I have a little bit of a better idea about um, where they're going to be spending their time. Well, the uh, first meeting is about scheduling courses. So I go through the courses that the students have um, inputted into their uh, academic planning form, the preliminary version of the academic planning form. And uh, we just try to see if those courses are aligned with the students' um, plans, academic plans. We also try to make sure that the course load is uh, feasible, that, um, that the student will have uh, the, the time to do all the assignments. And um, after we, the student and I agree that those are the um, courses, then I sign the form and then the student is ready to, um, to register for courses on the next day. So in that first conversation in the fall semester, it's pretty important that you've done a little bit of advanced planning, have some backup plan. Also, it's important to remember that's not the only conversation and that's not the only time that you're going to have to select your courses. You will have time to go back later and change them. So I guess the main thing is don't panic. Picking your very first courses when you come to Princeton is a very challenging problem. But Remember, you're not the first person to ever go through this. There are students who do this every year, and the job of the advisor is to help you through this process. We are your safety net, so don't worry. The second thing is that you have to come prepared. The night before your first advising session, look at the course catalog and think about what areas you might be interested in. Try and find five or six courses that you think might be interesting and come prepared with questions for the advisor about those courses. And then the advisor will offer alternative courses that they think you might also want to look at. But there's a lot of importance attached to preparing yourself for the advising conversation, especially the first time round. And the last thing about advising and picking courses is don't stay in your comfort zone. Be willing to take risks. Try learning new things because learning new things will open up new sets of ideas, new interests, and give you the opportunity to develop as a person and as a thinker while you're at Princeton. Um, at the first conversation, we do have to work out um, what courses they're going to be taking. And so if they think about some of their placements, I think uh, a lot of times uh, their foreign uh, language placement um, they need to think about do they want to continue what they've been taking in high school or start a brand new language. Um, and there's benefits to both of those things, but if they've given some thought to that before we meet, we can have a better conversation about it. Um, I think when they come to their first meeting, it's 
good to have a few alternative uh, alternate classes um, in mind in case the four that they really wanted to get into don't work out for some reason. It is really important to start out Princeton taking a variety of classes, a variety of kinds of classes. A lot of the larger majors, I'm talking about economics, computer science, psychology, their introductory courses are very large lecture courses that are going to be rewarding academic experiences, but you're not going to get to know the professor. So make sure as you're thinking about a range of courses that you find yourself in a seminar. I can't recommend freshman seminars highly enough as a way to get to know senior faculty. I think the best advice I can give everyone is to keep an open mind. Um, there's just a lot of things here, and while you may think you know what you want to do, you never know what you're going to find at a place like Princeton, something that may really take you over and, and change the way you think about life. Um, even once you've found your calling, uh, you should leave room for other kinds of courses that are very different. Uh, some of my favorite courses from undergrad were things that weren't in my major, that were very far from my major, and allowed me to see things I'll, I never would have seen otherwise. And it's very hard to get that kind of experience after college. College is really your time to explore, so I would explore. I advise students to read the emails that they get from their uh, college uh, uh, administrators, so the director of studies, their dean, their Dean of Student Life, uh, they are sending you those emails for a reason. They uh, generally have very good advice, so please do not ignore them. And don't be afraid to reach out to them because they're very knowledgeable about uh, the experience of um, Princeton students and they generally will be able to answer your questions. And if they are unable to answer your questions, they will help you find the resources so that you can um, actually have a good experience. Uh, you know, it may seem like, uh, you know, a, a, a major step in your, in your career, uh, but I'm paraphrasing somebody, and I think I may have it slightly wrong, but it was something to the effect that anything I did in life, which later on turned to be worthwhile, was something which initially seemed uh, like I must be crazy to be doing this or seemed like a very challenging task. Uh, Princeton is, a, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of hard work, uh, but all of us felt that way when we started as students. I was a student here at Princeton many years ago, um, and, you know, we're all here to help you, and I'm sure you will do very well. So welcome to Princeton.